Hello again everyone, this is Game Collector and I have yet another Transformers toy review, uh, somewhat newer than last week's and a little bit older than the week before that. Um, this is Reveal the Shield Turbo Trax, or as I'm probably just going to refer to him as Trax throughout the entire review, kind of like how I did last week with Strax's Dark Mount, whatever. Um, he's a sports car of some sort. I'm not exactly good with sports cars, and I probably could have looked up what kind of car he's supposed to represent here. All I remember is that he used to be a Corvette. I do have the alternator version, but we're not talking about that right now. He has, of course, little silver painted wheels that roll, that roll better on surfaces that aren't this tray, table. Um, since we're not much to go into, he has these little vents right here, or pipes that come off, and they do something somewhat special. Rotate those around. And you open this back piece up. And rotate this little piece in here through the back. And it will reveal two little tabs. That is part of his transformation into robot mode, but... Pull out the door as long as that back part is out on both sides, and then you pull that back into place. You can't pull these up any higher, I don't think. No, you can't. And then, yeah, you try to get it back into place as neatly as possible. Then you clip these little rockets. You see uh, there's a little hole right there for the tab. And, oh my, it's his original flight mode from the G1 toy. Wow. Didn't think they'd put that in, did ya? But granted, this is kind of, it's a few months old already, so it's already been leaked on the internet, and this review is going to be somewhat moot. Um... Since we are done with that, you pull these back off, and since we're going to transform him now, he's already mostly to robot mode, as you can see. We are going to lift this back part up and reveal the arms. Pull this little gray section out, this is important, and fold those little tabs back in, and pull this little object out. Let me move the camera up so I can... Uh, mess with them a little bit more with my arms more relaxed. Uh, lift the roof up, roof and windshield, and pull the shins down. Rotate the waist, pull the front bumper down, and push it up to reveal the feet. Set him down and separate the legs. Now for the arms, which are up here, so let me raise the camera. Um, pull them down, around like so, rotate the arms forward and the hands down so he doesn't look weird, and then in case you didn't see it, I can always do it again on the other side, rotate this up and around, turn this so it's facing forward, and down, but oh my, he looks like a midget now! Uh, whatever will we do? Um, push up on his chest. And there you go, his head pops up, all dramatic-like. Kind of like a couple other certain Transformers from previous series, don't you think? Oh yeah, also you might want to pull these up and out. So it makes pushing the backpack into place. Oh, but remember those white missile tabby thingies? They plug in here. Because they clip onto those little bars and... Oh my, now he has his missile pack back. And that engine thingy right here folds out into a little gun. And his arm, his hand is still sideways, which makes that somewhat awkward. Right, get in there. 
you know, it doesn't always like to cooperate. And here he is, Turbo Tracks from Reveal the Shield. And yeah, he has that rub sign there that I'm rubbing on, trying to reveal what alliance he is because no one knows. But we know now because he is an Autobot. Hopefully you can see that. And if you don't like him with these giant wings, you can just fold those up and put them down and make them an extension of his backpack. And if you don't want him holding his gun, that's fine too. You can fold the gun up, pop his backpack open, and put it back inside. And then fold the backpack back up. And there, now all he has is his shoulder rockets. Or you can have him with his wings up, wings down. Doesn't matter to me either way. And he has ball jointed shoulder. Double jointed elbows, which is really convenient. He has a wrist swivel. Ball jointed feet. Ball jointed hip. And uh, at the knee, he has a full rotation and a slight bend and you really can't store the missiles anywhere else unless you do this again it requires you to pop open the jet pa the backpack I almost said jetpack there but don't worry it's going to look like a jetpack in just a few moments by pegging them right here Just like with the flight mode, only now he's in robot mode. Uh oh, kind of came loose there. Doesn't always cooperate. And there, now he has a giant robot jetpack. Or not so giant robot because he's a deluxe. And since he has clip joints, he's compatible with. He has rugs on his backpack which means you can have any other clip joint weapon clip on there or something you can't equip them anywhere else now for his bio card we're gonna move the toy out of the way here and pull the camera back a bit or give it more space and focus the camera on that you can pause it here if you like. And his stats are strength 6, intelligence 4, speed 7, endurance 5, rank 3, courage 6, firepower 6, skill 3. And as you see, again, the back of the package completely spoils the point of it being revealed a shield. What is the point in even having that rub sign on there if the box tells you what it is? Well, I really can't go much into anything else on him. Oh, he does have light piped eyes, but I really can't show you that detail all that well, considering that I don't have anything that can fit behind his little head. Also, the room is too light, and I don't have a nearby light switch to adjust it, so uh, I could probably crop it. But I suppose that's all for now. I'll see you next week with another review. Later.